Carl Lasik. Lasik heading towards the 20. He's steadying himself. He's now shooting and he's scoring. Lacey is the man. My background, I suppose, was uh, my, my home club in, in Donegal Town called Four Masters. Um, I think it was, I was seven or eight, and they used to have a blitz every Saturday morning. And my dad used to pull me out of bed and get my boots on me and throw me into the back of the car and, and, and leave me off at the blitz, you know. And it's something to this day I still remember very, very well. And um, when I was eight, Donegal won All Ireland in 1992, like so. That's I mean, they inspired you right away at, at that age. And watching Anthony Malloy climb the steps and lifting Sam McGuire, it's that's where I wanted to be someday. More bad days than you, you have good days, and they're the days that you learn the most. And um, you know, I think the year before Jim McGuinness took over, it was probably one of my worst days in the Donegal jersey. Um, Armagh hammered us out the gate in, in the qualifiers, and you're sitting on the bus. There's a lot of boys talking about retiring and finishing, and heading to Australia or heading to America, and you're you know, these doubts are running through your head, and you're thinking, where are we going to go from here? But listen. Four years later in the line now of have three ultra medals in all Ireland, so thankfully I stayed on and stuck at it. We got to climb the steps and lift the most um, you know, the, the biggest prize in, in the GA, and that's the Sam Maguire. And to do that and come back to my own town on the on the Monday with the cup and with thirty thousand people in the diamond there waiting on you to come back, like it's something that was very, very special and I'll still remember I'm so lucky myself and Paul Durkin and Barry Dunham was in the panel at the time that the first stop is is our, our home club like so we're, we're we're lucky that way. We're the rest of the lads had to wait two or three days before they got back to their club but yeah it was it was a fantastic moment. And so far it's been it's going well for us. Um, we picked up our third Ulster title. There's a lot of hurt and pain from last year and we took that pain onto the training ground this year when Jim got us together back in January and every man in fairness to them got their heads down and got stuck into it and if you put your mind to it and you do put in all the hard work, uh, it'll it'll pay off for you and it we're going into an all Ireland series now and you know you're a couple of great teams still left there and we're we're just looking forward to now to see where we are where we're at with the rest of the, the, the teams in the country and we'll, we'll take it from there. Jim, you know, he, he's inspired everybody, um, not just the players but everybody in Donegal. He's, you know, he's, his knowledge and his self-drive that he has and the passion he has for Donegal, it's unbelievable and um, you know, to be learning from him now um, and, you know, makes it that extra, extra special. Colin Cooper, um, Kerry's you know, he's an exceptional player. Um, I've, I've played against him and I've, I haven't I have been involved in Ireland international rules quite not, but I've never got the chance. I actually, I've never met Colin to be honest with you. So, um, but he's one player to have looked at, and you know he, he's an unbelievable leader, and um, he's got serious skill and ability. And to have him, I'm not saying that we'd push out any of our own forwards now, but we'd, we'd take him on the bench anyway. So. We'd,